All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I was asked a question based off something I said on the last video about Anton fake ass. And um, sister wanted to know how can I say that I have a genuine love for black women, but I wouldn't date or marry one. Now, that's not a direct quote that's on the screen. That's just the gist of what she asked. But before I get into it, let, 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 let me explain something. I don't have a problem with trying to explain anything to anybody about how I move and why I move the way I move. Because I believe that I can teach better through real life experiences than I can through giving you some, some bullshit belief or some bullshit ideology, you know. But the problem is you got to want to accept what you hear even if you don't agree with my perspective, right? See, the problem is we only accept things that come within the realm of our personal ideology, the dogma that supports that ideology, or from some type of socially accredited authority, like somebody with a PhD, like somebody um, that works for the government, something like that, right? But these are the problems, man, because we have more, more to learn from more people than just that. And we shouldn't go about life like that. You know what I'm saying? We should we should listen to everybody that we come in contact with and see what we can take from their experiences and, and, and incorporate it into our own lives so that so that we can move in a more efficient and effective way throughout this one journey that we have. But we don't do that. For us, if somebody says something that's not within the confines of what we want to believe. We reject it. Therefore, me explaining to most of you why I do what I do is pointless. You're not going to want to hear it anyway. You're not going to want to accept it. It's going to make some mad, probably all of y'all mad. <laughs> probably one half of what I say is going to make y'all happy. Y'all going to cheer me on. And by the time I get to the other half, I'm going to piss the same people that was cheering me on. They're going to be mad at me. And the other people that was mad at me going to be cheering me on. I mean, it's crazy because... Unlike y'all, I don't have an ideology. Yeah, I wear star and crest around my neck. I have a kufi on most of the time, you know what I'm saying? My, my name is what y'all would consider as Islamic, you know what I'm saying? But it's really just Afro-Asiatic. Uh, the, the, but the thing is, though, I don't have an ideology. I have a spirituality. I have a spiritual base. I have a code. But I don't have an ideology. And that's what separates me from most people. I don't strain the world, my views of the world, through a belief system. And only can it, I can and, and whereas I can only accept whatever makes it through that strainer. I, I don't live like that. I accept life for what it is. I accept, I accept our reality for what it is. So when somebody asks me a question like this here, you know what I'm saying, it it, it, it gets rather confusing. Now, I'm going to pull up the actual question. I'm going to get started because I don't want to make this video too long. I want to get right into it. Now, she said, can you elaborate, right, on why you feel that black women are worse off than black men? Now, that's something I said in the video also. I said that, you know, y'all are trying to compare who's, who's more screwed up. And I said, but black women is going to win that every time. So she wanted me to elaborate, but here's the problem. And it goes hand in hand with the second half of that question. Um, in fact, let me put this question on on, on, on a, let me put this up on a thing so y'all can see this here. So y'all can see this here, okay. So the second half of that question, of, and why do you feel that black women are low hanging fruit? No easy targets. Well, here's the thing. Black women have been under this attack of this this social engineering indoctr indoctrination under feminism for like 60 years. Black men have been under attack of their form of indoctrination for about 10, which is the red pill slash manosphere. Oh, already, see? Already them niggas mad at me. Oh, them niggas clicking off the video, them niggas thumb up. You know, look, they watching my shit in the, in the scroll. They're not clicking on the video because the niggas don't like clicking on my videos. They watch my shit in the scroll, right? already and already they heard that look oh man it's nick you know i mean i'm just being honest see i see the similarities between the way the red pill is molding men and the way feminism molded women i see the similarities 
the talking points are almost exactly the same. I'm, it's amazing to me that more of you don't see it because the talking points are almost identical. And I mean identical. So when you have one group that have been under this attack for 60 plus years, that is a lot of children. That's a lot of grown women right now. That's a lot of young, I mean grown, I'm talking about grown, grown, from anywhere from mid-teenagers all the way up. These women have been under this stuff all of their lives. It's all they know. So their level of screwed upness is much, much, much deeper than the level that the men are under right now. The men still got a chance to turn themselves around. Women are doomed. Black women are just done, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when I say they worse off, they worse off because first they, 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 they're extremely strong-willed. It doesn't matter what we say. Look, we see it with this whole thing about the hair and the, the makeup and the way they do things. It don't matter how much brothers get online and say that we don't like that stuff. They don't care. They don't care. They don't move for us. It is clear. They move for themselves, and I have no problem with that. I am a strong advocate that they should. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I just made the men mad again. You know, they should move for themselves, but they don't move for us. So it doesn't matter what we like. They're not going to change what they are. And that's just the reality of it. So they really leave a man, a black man of a certain level of, 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 of class. I hate to say it, but that's the only way I can say it. They, they only leave a, a black man with a, at a certain level of class with no other option but to walk. And that's where the original MGTOW comes from. Certain types of men, when they reached a certain plateau in their life and they wasn't going to accept certain things in their life, they realized that those things that they wasn't going to accept was about all they can expect from black women. So what they would do is they would leave and they would seek out women of other races and other cultures. That's what they did. It had nothing to do with how they felt personally about black women. It's just that when you got your one, when you realize you got one life to live and you're trying to, you're trying to maximize on that, on, on, on your peace and serenity and happiness, you don't want to fight with nobody all the time about everything. Let me repeat that. You don't want to fight with nobody all the time about everything. Period. Man, woman, alien, it don't matter. Goat, dragon, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Lizard, you don't want to argue with nobody all the time about everything. And this is the gist of what you get in our relationships with these sisters because they're so headstrong. They, they, they're so aggressive in their ways. They are not going to change and they don't have to. That's the difference between me and you brothers, though. I, I would tell the sisters, don't change. If you like being that way, boo, you be that way. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what a nigga think. You know what I'm saying? Tell a nigga, step, tell a nigga kick rocks. But that's what I did. I just kicked rocks. I didn't try to change them. I didn't try to sit there and fight with them. I just left. You know what I'm saying? I just dated. I, I dated the kinds of women that were more compatible to me, right? Uh, let's go to the next question, right? She said, I can't understand. Oh, she said, I can understand that's your position based on your biases on your own gender, though. You know? Now, nah, I did address that with her because truth of the matter is I have no bias towards men. It, it's, it's just not true. I'm girl crazy. I am what y'all women call a hoe. I love women. I wouldn't, I, 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 I'm, I'm just not this, I'm not the kind of dude that, that, that take the side. I don't fuck men. Mine the hell would I have a bias towards men? I'm, I, I don't I don't I don't engage with men sexually men don't do nothing for me men don't offer me anything so why would I have a bias in favor of men over women that's silly I'm not gay I'm not gay if anything I would have a bias for women against or over men but I don't have that bias either because I just think on a whole nother level you know what I'm saying there's no need for it but I'm girl crazy you know what I'm saying so this whole thing about me having a bias in favor of men that's 
my sister, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know you mean well, but that's just that, that, that don't make sense to me. I'm girl crazy. I'm girl crazy. If I met you somewhere and we hit it off, I'm smashing you. And I hope you don't flag my channel for saying that. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I say if we hit it off, I ain't say I was going to do nothing to you. I say if I meet you somewhere and we hit it off, you would get dealt with. I'm girl crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, I just, I just, I would never have a bias in favor of men over women because to me that's gay. That, that, that don't make sense. That's why I would never be in a manosphere because this whole, this whole gender war thing don't make sense to me. I'm not trying to be in no society or world where I don't have access to women. I don't know what these dudes are talking about. You know, I, I'm, I'm like the most interesting man in the world. You ask him about, you know, bromance. He's like, I never, I don't know what the hell that is. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand no man, no sphere. I want women in my sphere. You heard me? I need women in my sphere. I don't, I don't man, no sphere. I don't know what that is. I need women. So no, I don't have a bias in favor of men. That, that's, that's just simply not true. You know what I'm saying? And she goes to say, lastly, can you, Justify having a genuine love and concern for black women if you lack the ability to intimately deal with one. Now, again, this is sort of a, a, a loaded question because I never say I like the ability to intimately deal with one. That's not what I said. I said I wouldn't seriously date or marry one. That's a difference. That's a difference. Now, excuse me. Let me say this here. Having a love for somebody and a genuine concern for them is not a sexual thing. Come on, my brothers and sisters. We got to elevate, man. Don't, look, don't, don't let me, you know, be, a, be that much over y'all. Come on now, catch up. You know what I'm saying? Catch up now. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, I, I, I got this white guy, right, this, this associate of mine. He's a psychologist, right? And he and I talk so often, you know what I'm saying, when we bump into each other. We live in the same community, right? And sometimes we be in the same, in, in one of our neighborhood, one of our community spots, you know what I'm saying? We might see each other and we, we, we run it a little bit, right? And um, one time when I, I was expressing how I have this problem with actually clicking with people, man, because people just don't seem to get what I say. And I, and I don't know what, what, what's, what's wrong, you know what I'm saying? It's like the ideologies block them. And throughout the conversation over the years, you know, one day I finally mentioned that I, 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 I was in the Naval Engineering School, right? And he was like, wow, he said, that's pretty impressive. He said, do you know the IQ you need to get into that program? He says, probably less than 10% of the population could even pass the test to get in there. And then you graduate at the top of the class. I graduated four, not at the top, but the top five, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, that's impressive, you know what I'm saying? He said, but that's your disconnect. You simply think outside of their boxes. So it's not that you can't articulate what you're talking about or you can't explain it. They just can't hear it. You know what I'm saying? And this is a problem I have, you know? And, and, and one more short story. This reminds me, like, when, when my Creole girl first got with me, right? You know, if she ever see this, she's going to laugh about this. Because when she first got around me, I met her at one of these, like, conscious community type, type spots, type, type of location where all the black people hang out. Yes. I hung out with black people. I'm from a black city. I'm from New Orleans, you know? So I met her in that spot, right? And she would often see me get into discussions with people because they was always challenging me because my lifestyle, I had this polygynous family already and I was open about it, you know what I'm saying? And one of the women was white and, and you know, and they knew this. And, and it was always questions being shot at me like this here about, about race, loyalty, or, 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 or what's, what's proper marriage? You know, I, I got these kind of questions all the time, you know what I'm saying, a as well as others. But anyway, my girl noticed that sometimes people would ask me something after, after a succession of questions and answers, and I would just pause. And, the, and they always thought that I was stumped. They thought that they had got me, you know, like, aha. But I would just pause. And it took her a while to realize that I was paused. I would pause because I was speechless. Because right now, what's going through my mind is, did this motherfucker really just ask me that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did this grown-ass person really just ask me that? And I get speechless because I don't know what to say because certain certain levels of, uh, of, of maturity and understanding to me should be common. 
So when somebody asks me something that's beneath a, 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 a certain level of maturity based on their age, I get confused as to how to even respond to that. And one time when she realized what happened, I was it was some dudes talking to me. I got attacked by them too, right? And I went to one of my solid modes. I got speechless after dude asked me a dumbass question. And she just bust out laughing. Because now she understood what was going on. And they was like, well, you know, why are you laughing? She said, because y'all think y'all cornered Kush. Y'all think y'all got him. But right now, he's thinking to himself, I can't believe this motherfucker just asked me that. <laughs> and, and, and that's what it was. So, having a genuine love and concern for a, a, a person is not a sexual or intimate thing. You can care about your mama and love your mama to death, but you don't want to intimately deal with your mother. You don't want to intimately deal with your biological sister, but you genuinely love them and have a concern for them. So the question to me, the question didn't even go together because I don't understand how you even conflate the two, they are completely separate. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's completely separate things. A genuine love and concern for somebody has nothing to do with a sexual compatibility, right? Or intimate compatibility. Those things don't go together. You can have a genuine love and concern for a male friend as a man, but that don't mean you, you, you have any kind of sexual interest in that dude. You, you get what I'm saying, people? So the question kind of, um, it didn't go together for me, right? But I kind of understood, no, not kind of, I understood what she meant. It's on the screen, as you can see. What she was really asking me is, how can I claim to love black women, but I would not date a married one? Well, to that, I say this here. I was never talking about the race of black women. I was talking about the culture of black women. But the problem I have is with the black culture as it is right now in general. So I don't really get along with a lot of brothers no more than I get along with sisters. But I don't hate my brothers. I just understand the limitations on our dealings and interactions. So all the black men that I deal with, I deal with them at a certain level, right? I keep it there. I don't let it go past that because I know all we're going to do is clash. I know all we're going to do is start arguing. We're going to fall out. So I don't even let it get to that point because I fell out with enough of them over the, over the years. I've fallen out with, 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 with dudes that were like friends, real friends over the years. Now, nobody I actually grew up with like, like the childhood friends, but people that I got jammed tight with as an adult and we was tight 15 years. Then we fall out behind dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? We jam tight, man. Families, you know, hanging together. We, you know, everything smooth for years, you know, 10 years. Then we fall out behind dumb shit. I mean, I've fallen out with maybe four friends like that, males. So I know now from, from wisdom that me and the black culture don't mix. You could say it's my fault. You could say that I'm the one with the problem. It doesn't matter. It still is what it is. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, the point is, it is what it is. I don't click with the way we live. I don't jive with the way we move. I just don't, you know what I'm saying? I just don't, you know? I mean, take for instance, the other day, me and my wife went out foraging, right? We, we, we're trying to learn how to identify wild growing food, right? Things that you can eat that just grow wild. But you don't know, first of all, almost everything they call a weed, is actually edible. And the reason why it's so aggressive is because Allah makes sure food grows. That is the, that, that, that is God's power. You can't stop the food from growing. That's why they got to spray stuff on it to kill it. Because the food will grow. So everything you spray and talking about that's a weed, that dandelion, dandelion is one of the most healthiest damn things that grow and it grows everywhere. You should pick it, make your tea out of it, and, 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 and level up your, 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 your immune system. You know what I'm saying? Dandelion is very healthy. But anyway, we out there, we go out and we look at things and try to identify things. And this is peaceful to us. How many black women would do that? 
How many black men would want to do that? You know what I'm saying? See, to y'all, y'all hear that y'all let this nigga on some more cracker shit. But see, that's how y'all think. But this is earth I'm talking about. I'm not talking about doing no white people's. I'm talking about learning how to identify food growing on our planet. And to y'all, that's lame. Y'all wouldn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have no interest in that. Y'all want to go to the grocery store and buy your food, right? You know, and, and I mean, it just is what it is. But remember that when, when Nas ex-wife <clears throat> moved on that farm? Did y'all see the comments? How they was attacking this chick? I mean, they was going in on that poor chick. Black women. And the fact that she did it with a white boy didn't help. Oh, boy, they was going in on it. Poor white man that died, man. You know what I'm saying? Chick that lost her husband. She finally found a dude that she can really click with. You know, they doing things with, you know what I'm saying? They, they farming, they out there, they living, they happy, and the man die on it. I feel so bad for the sister, man. God, leave, bro. That, I know that hurt, man, you know. It's hard to find a traveling mate that you really click with, man. You know what I'm saying? But all y'all know is race, you know what I'm saying? It's not about that. It's about clicking with somebody, you know. She found somebody she clicked with, you know. But anyway, y'all don't like that, that, that way of living. And when y'all do think about farming y'all think about it from the perspective of commercial farming like white folks y'all think about it and, and, and like, like wanting to do a business like white folks y'all don't think about just pure survival and just living in peace and harmony but see i got somebody who thinks like that we oftentimes we go to the book the, bon, the botanical gardens right and just look at the the pretty flowers and everything growing out there you know what i'm saying how many sisters could i take to something like that look We've been going to the botanical gardens, um, probably for seven years, eight years now. And, and to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a black woman walking through there. If they wasn't taking graduation pictures, because there's a lot of pretty backdrops, right? If they didn't hire a photographer to meet them there to take pictures, I don't think I've ever seen a black woman walking through there. For that man, I don't think I've ever seen a black man walking through there. Period. I have never seen no Mexicans just walking through there. It's only white people and my black ass. You know what I'm saying? But to y'all, that means I'm cooning because I, I take a walk through nature. It's flowers, brothers, sisters. It's our earth. And, and, and the last concert I went to, right, was Sarah Brightman a couple of years ago. But even after that, you know, me and my wife, we go to the symphony a lot. Look, man, you could take any ghetto in America. And I could call up people and tell them, look, I got a thousand free tickets to Sarah Brightman and a thousand free tickets to the next symphony, right? All you got to do is come pick it up. It might be five, five people might come get a ticket. It might get two tickets a piece. Out the whole 2,000, I might give away 20. That's it. Because y'all not going to have an interest in that. Most of y'all like, who the hell is Sarah Brightman? Y'all not going to have an interest in that. But if I'm in the neighborhood like I live right now, this diverse neighborhood, right, with, with, with more white folks and stuff in it, you know what I'm saying? If I put a call out and say I got that thousand Sarah Brightman tickets and a thousand symphony tickets. First of all, them Sarah Brightman tickets ain't going to last five minutes. If I tell them they're free, them white folks going to be lined up to get them tickets. They're going to be lined up. And then they'll start snatching them, them symphony tickets. They all gonna be gone. The point I'm trying to make is that I'm not talking about the race of my people. I'm talking about the culture. I don't want to go to a Beyonce concert. I don't want to go to an R&B concert. I don't want to go to a little baby or whatever rapper out there. I don't want to go to that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's not my stuff, bro. You know? If we can't catch something smooth, now I, I'm about to say like Kanye Dolce, but her music has changed so much. I don't want to hear her. You know what I'm saying? So maybe a, 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 damn, I can't think of the chick's name. Leela James. You know what I'm saying? I'll do a Leela James. Uh, what else? Um, a, a reggae concert, you know? And I ain't talking about no hip hop reggae type artists. I mean, some 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 roots type stuff, you know what I'm saying? I could do that. But the point is, it's, it's our culture, man, that I don't click with, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, not, it's not the skin color of the black women. It's the culture. And let, 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 let me say something else. I mentioned earlier about the... Let me, let me put up this other... I mentioned earlier about the... Um, 
I mentioned earlier about the weave and, and, and the makeup and, and, and the way they present themselves to the world. I don't want the, the BBLs and all this stuff. I don't want none of that, bro. I don't want any of that. And black women are not going to change. They're not going to do what I want them to do. They're going to do what the hell they want to do. And, and again, I ain't even mad at them. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do what I want to do. They're not going to do what I ask them to do. They're going to do what they want to do. And, and I'm not mad at them. But I don't want that around me. I don't want the attitude. I don't want to fight with nobody all the time about everything. I just don't want to do it. So what we talking about here is a culture. Now, uh, am I saying that every white girl or non-black woman is peaceful? No. But we talking about more than just race. I'm, I'm trying to get y'all to understand it. I'm not picking women based on their skin color. I'm picking women based on the content of their character. That's what I'm looking at. I'm picking women based on the kind of persons that they actually are. But as far as like casual dealing, I'll deal with any of y'all. I'm, I'm still not gonna deal with no BBL or we. See, that stuff is not a. That kind of stuff is just not attractive to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I don't mind you having braids in your head or something that looks like natural hair. You know what I'm saying? But if I can look at it and just like you got a bird's nest on your head hanging all the way down. That, that's that's unattractive to me, so I'm not going to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, if you present yourself, you know what I'm saying, in a decent way, I could casually deal with any woman. It doesn't matter because I'm going to keep it at a certain level. I'm not going to let it go beyond that. I'm not going to worry about it. See, we never going to get mad at each other because it's never going to get to that point. I'm not going to care about your core philosophies and how you move through life and what you do. It don't matter to me. We're going to go out, hang out. I mean, I can even take you somewhere. We're going to go on our date, and either we're going to take the date back to the room and fuck, or you gonna, or we're going to go separate ways. It doesn't matter. But I can casually deal with any woman. I just can't seriously date or marry any woman. And you should not be able to seriously date or marry any man as a female. And you brothers should not be able to seriously date and marry any woman as a man. But you damn sure should not limit your search for your travel mate to just race. You got to go beyond skin color. You know what I'm saying? You got to go beyond skin color. So, you know, what I do has nothing to do with, 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 with black women being black. It's all about the culture that we live under right now. I just don't, I don't like the way we live. You know, just real talk. I mean, and, and, and it's, it's on all levels. Look, if you don't have that, you got this extreme liberalism that we got on one side. You got all these niggas on this conservative tip. You got all these other blacks that's always into these conspiracies and stuff. Always worrying about what some rapper doing or some entertainer doing. I mean, it, 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 gets, it gets nauseating for a person like me, man. Because I don't care about the personal lives of these people. I can care less. I mean, literally, I just found out that the DOC and Erica Badu had a baby when all that stuff came out with Jason Black. I didn't even know that. Girl, 19 years old, and I listened to DOC and all this stuff. I, you know, I listened to NWA and all that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? But I never knew he had a baby with Erica Badu. You know why? Because I don't follow their personal lives. I just don't have an interest in it. Not at all. Their personal lives, to me, I mean, that's their business. See, I'm just a little bit different, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but but my point was never about the race of black women. You know what I mean? Their race is fine. It's the culture. Now, you say, so you mean, Kush, you couldn't find no black woman without that culture. And I don't know if I added this into that comment that I left with it, but truth of the matter is all my exes are single. I mean, all of them. And I'm talking about girls that look good. You know, these, these are older. I mean, they're all older now. Some of them pushing 50, you know what I'm saying? You know, all of them single. And the ones that are older me, older than me, they single. There's something wrong with the way we move as a culture, as a group. This is why I'm calling for a separation of our community, a splitting of our community, man, because I don't want to be represented by this madness no more. I don't want these conservative views no more. I want no more than I want these liberal views. I don't. I don't want LGBT, ABCD no more 
then, 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 then I'm trying to hear about we don't want to turn this into a socialist society and all this crazy stuff. I ain't trying to hear none of these crazy talking points. I'm try I'm I'm trying to be a human being. And what I want around me is somebody who understands that that's what we are. We are human beings. We're not Republicans. We're not Democrats. We're not conservatives. We're not liberals. We're not independents. We're not Muslims. We're not Christians. We're not Jews. We're not Hebrews. We're not Pan-Africanists. We're not Adols. We're not FBA. We're not African-Americans. You know what I'm saying? We are human beings. And if you don't understand that all I want in my life is to find me another human being to travel with, then I don't know what to tell you. If you, because I mean, no matter what I say, if you want to reduce my actions to some white fetish, you're going to do that in your mind. If you want to reduce my actions to some black self hatred, you're going to do that in your mind. But the truth of the matter is, I'm 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 way more real and gangster with this blackness than all of y'all, bro. I'm about this stuff, bro. I don't have a coon body in my, you know, coon bone in my body. Like I said, man, look, when you put out my ID, it tells you something about me. I don't have a white man's name. I don't have a European name. You know what I'm saying? And my nickname, brother Kush, it got nothing to do with herb, man. A lot of y'all don't even know that. That's a shame that the young generation is so messed up. When I was coming up, man, that, that, that's my childhood nickname. When I was coming up, bro, whenever somebody would hear, them, hear my name was Kush, but it was older than me or in my age group, they oh, the Kushites. Oh, man, Noah's grandson. Oh, man, a land of Kush. I mean, these dudes, everybody understood Kush to mean something else. Today, they hear Kush, they think about weed. And, and it's a shame. It shows the, 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 the de-evolution of intellect among black people in general. I don't meet a single black person now that hear my nickname and think of the Kushites. They all think of weed. And my poor nickname ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, really and truly, it, it, it's, it's hard on me, man, because I've been called this, I've been called Kush my whole life. And sometimes it's now, it, it's like embarrassing. It's like, I don't want to be called Kush no more, but that's my childhood nickname. That is my real nickname. It's, it's rough, man, because because the, the 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 general intellect of black people has diminished so far down that they no longer know what that is. And most of y'all call yourselves Christians. Most of y'all call yourselves Hebrews, and you still don't think of it, right? The Moors do. Now I give the Moors a little bit more credit. The Moors do think of Kushites, but they're about the only ones right now. They're about the only ones. So I mean. I'm gonna wrap it up with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? This this has nothing to do with um with, with, with skin color. You know, how I move and why I move the way I move. It's simply all about me just trying to be a human being looking for human companionship. That's all. That's all. Somebody I can get along with. <clears throat> and I just don't want certain things in my life. And I'm not gonna have it in my life. That's why I believe that black women should move how they wanna move. You know, if they don't want it in their life, they shouldn't have it. I'm not gonna have certain things in my life. I'm just not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I advise them to be the same way, but y'all got to respect my right to, you know, my, my, my individualism, my individuality. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to respect that, you know? So I hope I answered the question, sister. You know what I'm saying? I hope I answered the question for all of y'all, you know, because um, y'all got to understand, we got to stop conflating things, you know? Intimacy and sexuality got nothing to do with having a love and concern for somebody, bro. That, that's not, that, that these things don't go together at all. At all. I mean, my cat died a few years ago, you know what I'm saying? I love the hell out of my little cat, you know what I'm saying? I, I cry like a bitch when my cat died, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got this big-ass man sitting with that boo-hooing like a little hoe because his cat died, you know what I'm saying? I love that cat to death, bro. But, I mean, I wasn't trying to fuck the cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? So, you know, we got to elevate the way we think, man. But, anyway, I'm out of here. Before I go, you know, um, chip in, you know what I'm saying? Throw me a dollar or two so I can get a better mic and get a better setup. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I don't want to turn my passion into an expense. You know what I'm saying? But we got real work to do. Like I said, me and my wife, we are, we are out there trying to identify things. Help me move around a little more. You know what I'm saying? Just help me do what I do because everything I do, I'm going to give back to y'all for free. I'm going to give it back. 
if I learn it, I'm going to give it to y'all. But y'all got to help me. If y'all don't help me, I'm going to sell it. So hit me up at Venmo at the Black Alpha. Cash App at the Black Alpha. And PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com. I'm going to repeat that. Venmo at Black at the, the Black Alpha. Cash App at the Black Alpha. And PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com. Throw me a few dollars, man. You know what I'm saying? Throw me a few dollars. If you don't have dollars in here to, to hit me up with, cool. Like the video. You know what I'm saying? Go down to the comment section and just hit a, just put an emoji in it. You don't have to say words. Just throw an emoji in it. You know what I'm saying? A thumbs up, an eggplant. <laughs> I don't care what you what you put in it. You know what I'm saying? Just go throw something in it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just help the algorithm out. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want this message out, bro. This stuff that I talk is way too real, man. This 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 is G shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I put that parental advisory on the front, man. Because I say, you know what? I'm about to start talking to the men like men. I, I, I really tried out the curse, but it it, it it don't matter because I realize it's my message that, that they really don't want to get out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just give it to y'all raw, man. Let y'all discover it like Jay-Z said, man. Let y'all discover it at y'all own time. I'm going to just give it to y'all raw. You know, and when y'all reach it, y'all reach it, you know? But on that note, you know what I'm saying? I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam.